foreign exchange or FX swaps are designed to help manage timing mismatches through the simultaneous buying of one currency in the spot market and selling of the same currency at a date in the future. Timing mismatches result when transactions in a foreign currency impact cash flows in different time periods. The net currency exposure over the course of all the cash flows may be zero. However, the ad hoc timing of receipts and payments can still lead to an exposure that can be eliminated through the FX swaps. To remove the timing mismatches, FX swaps are used to effectively move transactions between time periods. This offsets an actual cash flow transaction in one period and moves it to another period where it can be matched to offset another exposure. There are two key assumptions underlying the ability to remove timing mismatches. Firstly, the organization is able to enter transactions to sell or buy foreign currency as required. And secondly, the organization has the ability to borrow to cover shortfalls or invest surplus proceeds as required. Let us look at an example. Consider an Australian organization that has regular exposures to the New Zealand dollar over the next six months. In March, it receives 5 million New Zealand dollars, and in June, it pays 5 million New Zealand dollars. The total net New Zealand dollar position is nil. We can see that the net New Zealand dollar exposure for the whole period is zero. However, we can see that there are still timing mismatches between the relevant receipts and payments of the foreign currency. Assume the organization didn't have a New Zealand dollar bank account. The organization would need to convert the New Zealand dollar to Australian dollar in March and then convert the Australian dollar back to the New Zealand dollar in June in order to make the June payment. And so it will be exposed to currency movements during that period. The organization could enter into an FX swap to remove the timing mismatches by moving all the New Zealand dollar exposures to a single period such as March. Assume the spot rate in March is 1.111 and the June forward rate is 1.087. The organization would enter into an FX swap to sell 5 million New Zealand dollars in March at the spot rate of 1.1111 and buy 5 million New Zealand dollars in June at the forward rate of 1.087. The sale of 5 million New Zealand dollars in March offsets the initial receipts of New Zealand dollars and delivers 4.5 million Australian dollars, calculated as 5 million New Zealand dollars, divided by 1.1111. The Australian dollars received can be invested until required in June to buy back the New Zealand dollar at the locked-in forward rate of 1.087. The purchase of 5 million New Zealand dollars in June is used to make the planned payment of New Zealand dollars and requires 4.6 million Australian dollars, calculated as 5 million New Zealand dollars divided by 1.087. As can be noted from the table, the net New Zealand dollar position is nil as the receipt of the 5 million New Zealand dollars is offset by the FX swap which sells the 5 million New Zealand dollars in March at the spot rate. This results in a net cash position of 4.5 million Australian dollars. In June, the payment of 5 million New Zealand dollars is again offset by the purchase of 5 million New Zealand dollars as part of the swap. This results in a nil New Zealand dollar position. It also results in a net Australian dollar cash outflow position of 4.6 million, which is used to make the June New Zealand dollar payment upon conversion using the June forward rate. These cash flows show that the swap results in netting off the New Zealand dollar flows to zero in both March and June, removing the timing mismatch. The Australian dollar differential is largely offset by the receipt of the interest from investing the Australian dollar proceeds during the June quarter. To recap, FX swaps can be used to eliminate timing mismatches by buying of one currency in the spot market and selling of the same currency at a date in the future. They enable the cash flows and currencies to be shifted to a specified period in order to eliminate the foreign exchange exposures.